Terve! Welcome to Kepperis Garage! So this time I'm gonna bring you one year back in time because uh, during the Suzuki project I did have some spare time and I spent it by restoring the scooter seat. Forgive me about the bad audio quality on the upcoming videos but it's done with the previous camera I had. That's that. Welcome to observe the seating process. Next I need to tear down this old bench. It's really ugly inside and outside. Uh, the foam is turning into goo or something and looks like the uh, frame needs some grinding and probably also some paint. So I have contacted my friend because her family has this company which creates motorcycle seats and those kind of things and also the Suzuki seat is from that company so why won't we just use that connection and hope that we will get near new condition seat new seat of course I think the frame is intact it's only a little bit rusty and all the springs are there so Let's just take this apart and clean the frame, uh, paint the frame, clean all the springs and take the frame to the company. I think that I will take all the springs out and put like soaky kind of liquid. Don't yet know what kind of. Ultrasonic cleaner would do. After a brief hiatus with the springs, we have now everything torn apart. Uh, I'm a little bit interested if all these metal bits are good to go, but I think that we might need to replace some 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 metal. Not sure. Need to grind those a little bit down and see if there's any anything left but rust. But besides that, I think we need just a couple of hours wire wheeling and sandblasting and spray painting. Yeah, let's do some wire wheeling.
Alright, managed to get the springs off from the seat and uh, the hardware looked pretty busted and rusty, so I decided to uh, switch to new one. I have the exactly same hardware in my stock, so why not to change into new ones? Let's make this beautiful again! seat frame is ready for paint. I did not get all the rust off but I think that it's good enough. All the metal was solid enough to not uh, solid enough to use reuse them so yeah here is the seat frame uh, cleaned up and now it's gonna get some black coat not sure what what's the original color for the frame is but i don't believe that the restoration is that serious that you should have like inside of the seat in correct color i will go black now there is one degree celsius at the moment not the optimum temperature to do the painting but yep it's only the frame of the seat <laughs> seat springs and that kind of related hardware into this <laughs> nutrition box. Uh, I'm gonna go and get some rust remover because it's like pain in the ass to get these rusted springs clean. So I've been trying to uh, ultrasound those and all kinds of things but Let's go with the rust remover and then I probably attach them to the seat and repaint those. Let's try something like this. Uh, I think it's supposed to be applied to rag and spread out with that kind of things. But I think that I will pour this whole thing inside there and fill the rest with water and let's see if that helps. These ones has been now soaking in the rust remover and yeah 
I can see them a little bit cleaner, but there's like parts of these are shiny. But most of it it's still really 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 rusty, so <coughs> I do a quick wire wheeling for all the springs so I can get the paint on and I can assemble the frame for the saddle to be delivered to the French company. Now uh, this one is already painted. The other parts for the seat, the frame turned out nice. It's a little bit bumpy, but it's rust free now. Almost. How come there is no paint there? Arr, need to do some more painting for this. I will do that right now because there is Suzuki engine uh, drying out there and I can like leave this hanging there as well so let's go and paint this again. Whoo, what a job! Every dingly dong is now wire wheeled. Not super happy with the springs and there is also a couple of springs that are a little bit in rough condition this one snapped already so I was thinking that if I replace the springs I need to see online if there is springs like this and then I can just change these well there's not that much to like put together for this seat but let's do something <coughs> A little recap, I did order new springs for the seat because the old strings was so rusted that even if I cleaned those out it looked like that it has eaten all the metal out of the springs and when I place my lazy ass at the top of those springs I believe that half of those springs will go snap. All we can do is put together all these painted parts. Got the new springs from the post, and of course they looks like brand new because those are brand new. Uh, I did try those on, and looks like it's perfect fit. There's the long one and the small ones there, so that should settle that one. We need to now put everything in package and bring that to my friend's company and they will make it look good. Epic music here! It's done! 
What do you like? I'm stoked. It's freaking like straight from the factory. So that concludes the seed episode and thank you for being interested in this seed project. This is actually the first part of the scooter which is now completely done. If you like this kind of stuff please give a like button, clicks and subscribe my channel. Uh, the whole scooter project will be documented here from the scratch to the point where it's, it's what it became cannot say that it will be like new but it will be like it will be what it will be I guess I try my best trust me I try my best so thanks everyone and see you on the next one